Good evening everybody, my name is Teacher Prashant and I welcome you all to this video. So this video is uh, solving linear equations part 5 and in this video we are going to be learning how to solve linear equations involving multiple fractions on one side. So what does it basically mean? It means this. Linear equations involving multiple fraction on one side. Now what are multiple fractions? Multiple fractions are basically more than one fraction. So 2x plus 1 divided by 2 is one fraction and minus 4x divided by 3 is another fraction. So, so we can say that on the left hand side we have total two fractions which makes it multiple fraction on one side followed by a single fraction on the right hand side. So this is basically linear equations involving multiple fractions on one side of the equal to. Now let's go solve this equation and find out our value for x. Now how do you solve this question? How do you approach to find the value for x? Now step number one is check the denominators. Are they same? So the denominators are 2, 3 and 2 and they are certainly not same. If the denominators are not same, find out the LCM. Now what is an LCM? LCM is basically lowest common multiple. Now what is the lowest common multiple? Multiple means basically product of two number. So let's take for example 2 times 3 is 6. So we can say 6 is a product of 2 and 3 because 2 and 3 multiplied gives out the value for 6. Let's do it for 3. So 3 times 2 equals 6. So this is also a product because 3 times 2 equals 6. Now let's write 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3 equals 6. And 2 times 4 equals 8. Let's go do the same thing for 3. Now as we can see these are all multiples. As we can see, these are all multiples. But these are multiples of 2 and these are multiples of 3. So multiple of 2 and multiple of 3. Now which is the lowest and which is common? Is it's 2 lowest? Yes it is. Is it common? No. What about 4? No. What about 6? Yes, we have 6 right here. And we have 6 right here. Is it lowest and common? Yes. Because there is no number less than 6 which is common. So since 6 is a multiple of 2 and 3, the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 will be 6. So now we know what is an LCM. LCM is lowest common multiple. So 6 is LCM. Now let's go do our question. Let's write our equation. Our equation was 2x plus 1 divided by 2 minus 4 x divided by 3 equals x plus 4 divided by 2. Now we know our LCM is 6, what we are going to do? Now we are going to multiply every fraction with the LCM 6 and this is going to be the step 2. And this one was step 1. Now, let's write times 6 because the LCM was 6 so multiply by 6 4x over 3 times 6 because the LCM was 6 and same on the right hand side multiply 6. Now why do we do this? We do this because we want to cancel out the denominators. So from fractional equation we can get non-fractional equation and we can do the old school with x and find the value for x. Okay so now 2 goes 1 and 2 goes 3. Now 3 goes 1 and 3 goes 2 and then 2 goes 1 and 2 goes 3. So now what is left? We multiply 2x plus 1 as you can see 3 times 2x plus 1 minus 4x multiplied 2 as you can see 4x multiplied 2 equals 3 multiply x plus 4. Now let's apply the distributive law and we have already learned this in our previous videos. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you should check out my previous videos that will give you more information about how to solve linear equations involving brackets. So 
3 is to be multiplied with 2x and 3 is to be multiplied with 1 also because 2x plus 1 is considered to be one term since they are in a bracket. 3 times 2x is going to be 6x and 3 times plus 1 is going to be plus 3. Minus 4x times 2 is going to be 8x equals the same thing on the right hand side 3 times x which will give out 3x and 3 times plus 4 which is plus 12. Okay, we have done a similar equation before, so what do we do? So now let's figure out what are like terms. So 6x minus 8x and 3x are like terms, and uh, constant 3 and constant 12 are like terms. What do we do next? Keep like terms on either sides. Okay, so which means we have to shift x to the left hand side and numbers on the right hand side. So let's start with minus 3x. So let's start with 3x. So since this is plus 3x on the right hand side, if it moves on the left hand side, it is going to change its value to minus 3x. And let's write the remaining expression, which is minus 8x. So what about this 3? Let's move this 3 on the right hand side of equal to, so that we have only x on the left hand side. So let's write 12. Since it is plus 3 on left hand side, on right hand side it is going to change to minus 3. So we have x on one side and we have numbers on other side which is always a good sign if you're looking to find out the value for x now let's write the same thing right here because we need more space so 6x minus 3x minus 8x equal 12 minus 3 so negative term and negative term let's do it together so 6x minus 3x minus 8x is gonna be minus 11x. Why minus 11x? Because minus and minus is plus but we use the minus sign. So minus 2 and minus 2. So minus 2 and minus 2 is actually plus so we write 4 but we use the minus sign because both the numbers are going on the negative side in the number line. Let's take minus 3 and minus 7. So 3 plus 7 is 10, but we use the minus sign. So that's how 3x and 8x is minus 11x. Equals 12 minus 3 equals 9. So 6x minus 11x is minus 5x equals 9. Now, if you guys don't know how to do this, if you guys don't know how to do operations of plus and minus with like terms, you should actually learn it before you jump on doing this equation. It, it is highly recommended that you should know that. So, minus 5x basically minus 5 times x equal 9. So, move everything but x on the right hand side if you want to find out the value for x. So, x equal 9. Now what happens when minus 5 times go on the other side? It will change its value to division. So it's going to be minus 5. Now we know that x equal plus 9 divided by minus 5. Now if you do something like this, please keep in mind that you are dividing plus by minus. So plus by minus will be minus and 9 divided by 5 will be 1.8. So our value for x is 1.8. It is done. So there was too much writing, but it's not hard at all. Anybody can do this. So please hit a like only if this video was helpful to you and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. All right, so before I finish my video, let me tell you the topic for my next video. In our next video, we'll be learning how to solve linear equation with multiple fractions on either side of the equal to sign, which is very well represented by this question right here. So, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you think my content is helpful to you. Thank you so much. A very goodbye from Teacher Prashant. I'll see you guys again soon in my next video.